In the beginning, there was nothing. A vacuum, void, empty space. And in this empty space, there emerged a primordial fireball. Billions of years ago, this fireball exploded. This explosion generated all space, energy, matter. The universe expanded rapidly, producing electrons, neutrinos, photons, and quarks. Soon, this energy began interacting, forming protons and neutrons. Matter continued colliding and interacting. Over time, the first simple elements formed. These elements also collided as the primordial soup continued to expand. Cosmic and particulate evolution continued, and stars began to group, forming into the earliest galaxies. And then, just five billion years ago, something wondrous occurred. Within a cloud of gas in a spiral arm of the Milky Way galaxy, our sun formed. This new star gave birth to planets, moons, and asteroids. One of these planets, known as Earth, developed an atmosphere. Earth's environment believed to be filled with volcanic eruptions, lightning, turbulent weather, mixed atoms and energy to create the first simple living cells. Then, through millions of years of mutations and natural selection, algae, jellyfish, and flatworms appeared. As evolution continued, fish appeared in the seas on planet Earth. Some of these fish developed into amphibians, and through natural selection changed into reptiles. A segment of these reptiles evolved into a variety of creatures, including mammals. Some of these mammals became primates, and then, just 600,000 years ago, an isolated group of these primates evolved into man's earliest ancestors. This is our amazing evolutionary heritage. And evolution continues today. Both evolution and creation scientists have observed and agree that there is great variety within each species. Darwin noticed this variety and adaptability among finches. He noticed that the finches' beaks varied in size and shape, and that the beak's features affected the survivability of the finch. Today, we notice a great variety of dogs. It is believed that all 450 breeds of dogs present today had a common ancestor. Most scientists believe that this ancestor was very similar to the present-day wolf. Scientists also witness natural selection, or survival of the fittest. Evolutionists and creationists agree that those animals that are the strongest, healthiest or most adaptive to their environment are more likely to survive and go on to reproduce. The weaker animals which are unable to adapt are less likely to survive. 